that when people steal cows, they want to go and sell them quickly so that they are slaughtered. Oh, but that makes the work much easier. I said, but there are not very many roads in Karamoja. So you have roadblocks in strategic areas so that any cows moving on vehicles are intercepted. We thought this force could react and destroy the raiding party or make them flee and abandon the cows. So that's one way. But the other one is the one we are approaching, the soft approach yes, sir. Of, of going to them and talking to them, and, and I'm ready. I, I will tell the Prime Minister to, to take it up. Gap before we go to the manpower. We identified that uh, we need to, to hunt four people in these raids. The first one was uh, a criminal that is having a gun. The second one was uh, that one with bows and arrow together with that one with a gun. The third one was that one with a stick to drive the cows. And we have done all our disarmament exercises, but we have never brought them on board. We need to know them. We need to get them on our side and have this problem sorted out. So it is a, a problem of spirituality. The Karamajangos believe a lot in spirituality. We need to know them. We need to get them on our side and have this problem sorted out. So it is a, a problem of spirituality. The Karamajans believe a lot in spirituality. And they believe a lot in these people of theirs. Quarterly, quarterly review meetings of uh, persistent cattle rustling and also all reach the state where we had almost believed that who are coming to a complete stop of this challenge. But towards the end of last year and the beginning of this year, we, the neighbors of Karamoja, realized that the cattle rustlers who were crossing to Teso, for instance, and Katakui in particular, had increased in